With all this gun violence, there is a fiery debate online after the NRA says doctors should stay in their lane and now medical professionals are pushing back and pushing back hard. And we want you to join this debate as well. Should doctors have a say in the conversation about gun violence? While you vote, in the meantime, Melissa Correa live outside Ben Taub Hospital where doctors in that emergency department see this almost every day, Mel. Yeah, Rekha, this is where you want to be if you're shot. This hospital has a reputation for some of the best care when it comes to victims of gun violence. Jason, as for that debate, it is taking over social media with doctors across the country, including those here at Ben Taub, responding to the hashtag stay in your lane. These four words are like fuel to a fire. The Annals of Internal Medicine last month published this paper. In it, doctors said gun violence is a public health crisis that requires immediate national attention. The NRA in this tweet suggested anti-gun doctors should, quote, stay in their lane. There's always an emergency doctor awake somewhere monitoring Twitter. Cedric Dark is one of several Houston doctors to respond to the NRA, each of them pulling from their own experience treating gunshot victims. Uh, about five to 600 a year at our emergency department. And that's just the people that are well enough to make it to the ER. Many people, you know, die in the streets. This map shows today's tweets linked to stay in your lane. It's a point of contention because for 20 years, Congress has kept the CDC from studying gun violence. Well, we need to study it from a medical perspective like we do with everything else, like motor vehicle collisions, heart attacks, strokes. You know, those are the things that we see in the emergency department every day. And so the information we have is limited. The debates expanded beyond the emergency room with Houston's police chief weighing in and a mom sharing this photo of her daughter. Kimberly Vaughn was shot and killed at Santa Fe High School six months ago. A week long war of words happening as Houston continues to deal with gun violence. So on one hand, you have doctors who want to study gun violence to see if there's a better way to treat victims. But on the other hand, you have gun supporters who fear those studies will be used to limit a person's right to bear arms. Rekha, bringing you back into the mix, we're asking folks this afternoon, do you think doctors should be a part of the gun violence conversation? What are they saying? Well, Mel, they're still weighing in, but so far about 57% of our voters say yes, they treat these shooting victim victims every day. Um, 43% are saying no, this is just uh, one conversation in a very complicated issue, um, but people kind of split on this more so leaning toward yes, though they feel like doctors definitely have an opinion on this and it is valid. All right, Melissa Correa, thank you.